In recent decades, the Hubble telescope has given us a unique view of the cosmos. We have seen a variety of shocking galaxies, of different shapes, sizes and colors. We have seen many nebulae, with majestic visual elements, like cosmic works of art. In the last three decades, Hubble has played a fundamental role for science, making great strides in astronomy. On June 13, Hubble discontinued its science operations due to a failure in the payload computer that controls, coordinates, and monitors Hubble science instruments. For a month, NASA ran a series of tests which included attempts to restart and reconfigure the computer, including the backup computer, but they were unsuccessful. On July 16th, the Hubble team succeeded in changing the backup hardware, and the next day, to everyone's relief, returned the telescope science instruments to operational status, resuming science data collection. NASA anticipates that Hubble will last for many more years and will work in conjunction with other space observatories, such as the James Webb Telescope. In this video, we'll see amazing images that Hubble has recently captured. In this image, we can see a cosmic collision in its final stage. A pair of interacting colorful galaxies that lie about 275 million light years away. The two galaxies are in the final stages of merging. And astronomers expect that a powerful inflow of gas will ignite a frenzied explosion of star formation in the resulting starburst galaxy. This new image incorporates new data from the Wide Field Camera 3 and combines observations taken on eight filters that span wavelengths from infrared to ultraviolet to reveal the finest details in these galaxies. This spectacular image shows a zoo of galaxies. You can see different types. This one on the left is a lenticular galaxy, called, um, it has a bit of a long name. Lenticular galaxies are shaped like a lens. There are galaxies with a structure that seems intermediate between elliptical galaxies and spiral galaxies. They clearly exhibit a bulge and disk, similar to spiral galaxies, but don't show any signs of spiral arms or significant amounts of interstellar material. The origins of lenticular galaxies are still unknown, but one idea is that they were originally a spiral galaxies that lost or consumed their interstellar material through interactions with other galaxies. The one on the bottom right is a spiral galaxy, called UEC 2665. Spiral galaxies are often made up of young, hot stars. These galaxies are beautiful most showing a bright central region, surrounded by a flat, rotating disk of stars. Most galaxies that have been discovered are spirals. In the background, you can see numerous galaxies, some closer than others. 
The two most notorious galaxies are approximately 350 million light years from Earth, and both are part of the huge precious cluster of galaxies, which is one of the largest known objects in the universe, and has thousands of galaxies concentrated in a small region. This image was captured at visible and infrared wavelengths by Hubble's Wide Field Camera 3. This incredible image shows an interaction between three galaxies. Located 763 million light years away in the constellation Lynx. They are in a gravitational struggle. These galaxies are known as ARP 195. They are part of the ARP Atlas of Peculiar Galaxies, a list that shows some of the strangest and most wonderful galaxies in the universe. These galaxies are tearing each other apart. You can see how the two galaxies are pulling on the one in the center. Bottom right, you can see an outstretched arm of that galaxy. This is called the tidal tail. It's a thin, elongated region of stars and interstellar gas that extends into space from a galaxy. often occurring in interacting galaxies, due to gravitational forces that eject a large amount of material. These spectacular images also help identify promising targets for tracking with telescopes such as the James Webb Space Telescope. This bright star-studded image is an open star cluster, about 180,000 light-years away, within the small Magellanic Cloud. Open star clusters are groups of young, loose stars. The stars in these clusters were born together. Sometimes, they still move within the nebula of their creation. They can contain a handful or thousands of stars. The most interesting thing about this image is actually a very small star cluster in the lower left corner, surrounded by a nebula of ionized hydrogen and dust. To better understand it, scientists will need infrared images from the James Webb Space Telescope. This image shows the spiral galaxy NGC 3254, with a background packed with more distant galaxies. At first glance, this looks like a simple spiral galaxy, but in reality, it has a secret. It's a ciphered galaxy. This means that it has an extraordinarily active nucleus which releases as much energy as the rest of the galaxy. These galaxies belong to the class of active galaxies that have supermassive black holes at their centers. They release large amounts of radiation as they accumulate large amounts of material. This image is a combination of observations taken in visible and infrared light by the Wide Field Camera 3. What a relief that the Hubble telescope is back. On July 19th, the Hubble team released this snapshot to demonstrate its return. The one on the left is a rare example of a pair of galaxies interacting in the southern hemisphere and the one on the right is a large spiral galaxy with unusual extended spiral arms, making it three times more expansive than our Milky Way. 
I look forward to seeing them when they're processed. I'll continue showing you impressive images from Hubble in an upcoming video. If you want to support me, you can subscribe to the channel and ring the bell. Thank you very much for your support. This is Julio from Sci Media. Until next time.